Ornaments are frequently purchased as sentimental gifts and beautiful decorations. You can create unique and customized pieces for home or office. Merchise wood ornaments currently have three decoration types. All can cut in a variety of different shapes. Printed wood ornament, one layered printable and cutout shape. Layered wood ornament, double layered printable and cutout shape. Wood ornament cutout, one layered cutout shape. This following tutorial is guide about how to use the PSD templates of layered wood ornament. First off, you'll need to download the product template file included in the product link. Ultimately, we'd recommend working with the desktop versions of Adobe Photoshop as they are widely supported and also what we use here at Merchise. To edit templates without Photoshop, you will need an alternative that has the ability to work with smart objects. The free application that fits this criteria would be Photopia. Let's start it. First, open the template in Photopia. The template is downloaded from the product detail page in Mockup and Template tab. When opened, you will see the guide note. Follow these instructions. Double click on the Design Layer thumbnail to open Smart Object. A new screen should open up. Edit or drag the design to the file's work surface. Adjust Place Design within the Safe Print Area. Important Notes for Creating Artwork Details Every detailed cutting line weights should be at least 15 pixels. Too thin and small features are more apt to break. Consider this when designing your piece of work. Use the resolution at least 300 dpi to produce the best quality with bitmap or raster files again. Always use files at the highest resolution possible. Make sure that all artwork elements are connected and combined into a single object. The transparent area in the design will be cut out. If your designs will need to hang, make sure there is space for a hanging hole. Punch a transparent hole inside the artwork. or you can draw a shape. Set transparent fill and stroke with minimum thickness of 46 pixels and put it anywhere outside of the main shape. When finished designing, then save Smart Object Curl Plus S. Make sure to either delete or turn off with the eye icon the original image. Go back to the original PSD file. You'll find Cut Design and Print Design of Top Layer and Cut Design of Bottom Layer will be automatically generated. Then, create or drag your design in the Print Design area for the bottom layer. Cover all the gray safe zone. You can make new cutout shape in the cut design of bottom layer. For best results, again, check the cutting line weight and gap in the cut design layer. Make sure they should not be too thin. We recommend that your design doesn't have parts that go thinner than two millimeters. Add bridges, strokes, or fill for thin holes and cutouts. 
Make sure all shapes have been united, combined, or merged. Make sure that you turn off the guide layer, then save the design file in and format. You can make ornaments in many shapes. You can cut anything on it or use another layer to write a special message. Using laser cutting, that's able to cut incredibly high precision on wood products with complex and intricate patterns. Once you've opened up your PSD mockup, double click on the place your design here layer thumbnail to open smart object. Open your finished print file, then drag into the work surface. Save the file, make sure to turn off all guide layers before saving your artwork. You'll see the mockup is generated. You can change the background. You can also change the hangers. Once you've done, save your mock-up for your own use. Need more advice on file preparation? Please do get in touch via our email or via our live chat.